Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Happy Thursday. Hey, it is me, your minister, Queen Asia, and this is my ministry, Beauty for Ashes, Kingdom of Heaven, Royal Ministries. Praise the Lord, everyone. I pray that you guys are having a blessed morning, a safe morning, a prosperous morning. Hallelujah. A morning full of God's praises, glory, of God, of full of his miracles, his wonders, hallelujah, full of his blessings, hallelujah. We just thank God for another day, hallelujah, to be in his presence, hallelujah, another day to give him all the praise, glory, and honor, hallelujah, another day just to exalt his holy name because he is worthy of our praise, hallelujah, just another day, hallelujah, to offer up the sacrifices of praise, hallelujah, the sacrifices of praises when you feel like you can't pray, like what are you praying for? You done prayed yourself out. You got to push through. You got to press through. Hallelujah. And you have to offer up that sacrifice of praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. No matter what your body feeling like. Hallelujah. No matter what your circumstances. Hallelujah. And your situation is right now. You have to offer up the sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Because that is where your breakthrough comes in. Hallelujah. That is where, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, overtakes. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit comes in. Hallelujah. And he give you the power. Hallelujah. He'll give you that power. Hallelujah. To keep you um, moving and pressing forward. Hallelujah. The power that Jesus Christ has given us. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> It's important, hallelujah, to continue to pray, to continue to praise, to continue to worship, hallelujah, because that is how we break a yoke, hallelujah. That is how we break, hallelujah, generational curses in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. That is how we continue to move from faith to faith and from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. That is how we continue, hallelujah, to get, hallelujah, the attention of our Father God, hallelujah. That's how God's eye stays on us, hallelujah, because we are continually offering up praise. We are continually offering up worship. We are continually giving him thanksgiving, hallelujah. We are continually showing him love and appreciation, hallelujah, and glorifying his holy name, hallelujah. That is how you get your breakthrough, hallelujah. That is how, hallelujah, you break the the chains of the enemy, hallelujah. That is how you distract the enemy, hallelujah, from coming against you, hallelujah. You continue to praise, hallelujah, because the enemy going to get so confused because he, he going to be looking at you like, hey, you ain't supposed to be happy. All this stuff I'm trying to do to you, you ain't supposed to be happy. You supposed to be somewhere crying, somewhere dying. You supposed to be somewhere homeless. You ain't supposed to be happy. You ain't supposed to be in a good spirit. But let me tell you, we offer up praises no matter what. Hallelujah. Because we want to confuse that enemy. Hallelujah. We want to let that enemy that he ain't got nothing. Hallelujah. He ain't got nothing on us. He ain't got nothing over us. And there's nothing that he can do to us. Hallelujah. That will stop us. Hallelujah. From pressing in. Hallelujah. And for giving God the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Because the enemy wants you to shut your mouth. Hallelujah. He wants you to stop praising. He wants you to stop praying. He wants you to stop worshiping. He wants you to stop fasting. He wants you to just give up, throw in the towel, hallelujah. He just wants you to be like the world, hallelujah. But God said no, hallelujah. God said no, these are my children, hallelujah. This is my vessel, hallelujah. These are my servants in the name of Jesus. This is my holy nation, hallelujah. My, my peculiar treasure, hallelujah, the apple of my eye. And let me tell you, God said he is vindicating his people in the name of Jesus. God said he is vindicating you in the name of Jesus. He knows, hallelujah, that the enemy has been pounding down, hallelujah, on the body of Christ. The enemy has been trying every demonic tactic that he could bring against us, hallelujah. Every tactic of frustration, hallelujah. Every tactic of depression, hallelujah oppression hallelujah he trying to bring each and everything hallelujah that he can conjure up hallelujah to bring against the body of christ but god said no i am vindicating you hallelujah god said i am avenging you hallelujah from the enemy he is avenging you from the adversary he is avenging you from 
the locust, the caterpillar, the canker worm, hallelujah, all the things that they have eaten up and taken, hallelujah. God said he's a, a, avenging us. He's vindicating us, hallelujah. God said he is vindicating us in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is the day of your vindication, hallelujah. God said today is the day of your vindication. He said, I am, you better catch that in the spirit. I am that I am is vindicating you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. The Lord gave me this word maybe like a week or so ago, right? <laughs> Let me. God talks to me in all kinds of places, hallelujah, but he really talks to me like when I'm like in around water. When I'm around water, God just flow. The spirit just flows, hallelujah. So, um, when, <laughs> so I was in a restroom, hallelujah, and I was around water, hallelujah. So, and I'm, just, you know, in the rest, I always meditate. I'm, you know, I, I'm a thinker and a prayer. I have a praying spirit. So no matter what, even if I'm not talking out loud or something, my spirit could still be praying. Okay. So I was in the restroom, you know, minding my business. <laughs> and I'm, and I, and as I'm just, you know, meditating, the word vindicating, the word said vindicating. The Lord said, I am vindicating you. And not like, I'm like, am I tripping? I'm like, if, you know, it just came out of nowhere. Good morning, my beautiful sister. The Lord said, I am vindicating you. And I was like, okay. Okay, so I'm like, vindicate, vindicating, okay? So that word just stuck out. It just would not shake my spirit. So I was like, okay, what is this word about? So I said, okay, Lord, I need you to conf confirm this word so that I know I'm not tripping. Because, you know... God speaks to us and he might just say one thing and you, then you got to catch it. Hallelujah. You got to catch it in the spirit. So thank God I caught it. So I, the Lord, you know, he kept it in my spirit and kept it in my spirit. And so I said, Lord, please confirm the word for me. Hallelujah. So I can go forth in it. Right. So let me tell you something. The next day I went online and let me tell you that word was confirmed by two prophets in the mighty name of Jesus, God will confirm his word. He said by two or three, hallelujah, he will establish and confirm his word and he established his word. Hallelujah. So I had to go forth. Praise the Lord. Good morning. I, yeah, good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. So I had to go forth with this word because I, I was like, Lord, is this just for me? Cause sometimes he'll give me a word that's just for me. But he said, no, speak this to my people, because let me tell you, this is their season of vindication. This is their season. Hallelujah. And they need to know. Hallelujah. God said, you need to know what has been going on for you behind the scenes. The things that you have not been able to see. Hallelujah. With your natural eye, God said, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you what's been going on behind the scenes. So I want you guys to stand because let me tell you something, God is working it out. It has already been done. God has done it for his children. I just want you guys to stand on your faith. You got to believe because if you don't believe in this, hallelujah, it ain't going to happen for you. If you don't stand on faith, it ain't going to happen for you. Hallelujah. If you keep allowing doubt and fear and frustration and distractions, hallelujah, and the noise of the enemy to try to come in, hallelujah, and to attack your spirit and attack your faith and attack your um, belief, hallelujah, then you're not going to see what God is doing. Hallelujah. Because you are caught up. Hallelujah. You are caught up in the wrong thing. So stay focused. Keep your focus on the word of God. And I know, hallelujah, sometimes it could be hard because it's like you get all these great words of encouragement. You get this ex excitement in your spirit. And you know, we human, we want things right way, right now, right now. But God said, just wait on me. Please be patient with me like I have been patient with you. Wait on me like I was waiting on you when you was living in all that sin. Hallelujah. And I allowed you to get your life in the right lane and get yourself together. I gave you so much time. I gave you so many opportunities. I waited so patiently. I poured out my grace and my mercy over you. Hallelujah. Because I knew, hallelujah, what the plan I had for your life. 
And I gave you that time and that opportunity to get into alignment with my word and with my will. So give me patience like I've been giving you patience. Hallelujah. Stop rushing God to do something when, you know, we don't rush ourselves to do the will of God. So why we want to rush God to bless us when we still living in disobedience? See, that's not how God work. Okay. God, you got to be in, in alignment. See, the blessing can't come under you if you living in the curse. That's not going to happen. The blessing and the curse, that's conflict with each other. So you can't get your blessing the way God want to bless you. Yeah, he going to take care of you and you, you're going to get the um, little, um, uh, you just going to get, you just, just going to get the bare minimum. Hallelujah. You just going to get the bare minimum because let me tell you something. God wants his children to prosper. He wants him, them to prosper in every area of their life, not just in your finances. Hallelujah. Because God can bless you with money right now and you go out there and spend it and be broke the next day. So God want to give you wisdom. Why would God bless you with money and you ain't got the wisdom to invest you ain't got the wisdom, hallelujah, to spend the money in the right way. You not using the money for the kingdom of heaven. So why will God pour out a financial blessing and you don't know how to take care of your finances? Okay? So God said, you got to you got to get in alignment for the blessing that you want. You got to get your mind together. We see see what it is is that we see the glitz and the glamour of things, but we don't see the work that goes into it. There's a work that has to be done, hallelujah, to achieve, to get these things that shine in glitz and glamour, hallelujah. So God said, just bear with me. Just be patient with me like I've been patient with you. Like I've been waiting on you, wait on me. I've been waiting on you all these years, okay? But wait on me now, wait on me. And you ain't got to wait that long because guess why? God already did it. He did it before you was even created. He already had it ready and prepared for you. Hallelujah. But he knew, hallelujah, my children got to go through this world cycle. My children got to come up out of this world system. So that takes his grace, his mercy, and his patience. Hallelujah. And that takes him waiting on us to get ourselves together. And now we together. Now we ready. So we like, okay, Lord, where my new car? Okay, Lord, where my new house? God was like, what? <laughs> it don't work like that. First of all, I need you to get a new brain. First of all, I need you to get a new talk. First of all, I need you to get a new walk. Second of all, I need you to get delivered. Hallelujah. There's so many things, so many levels. And see, God deals with us in levels. He deals with us in cycles. Hallelujah. Based on our growth, based on how we're um, participating in his will. Hallelujah. So the more you do it, God move faster. I'm telling you, our God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. You don't control time. God controls time. If God wanted to stop time right now, time will be stopped. Hallelujah. If God want to speed it up, it'll be sped up. If you want to slow it down, it'll be sl slowed down. God is controls all things. He is time. Hallelujah. So you don't even have to worry about the time of it. Hallelujah. Because it's in him. It's in him. Your blessing is in him. Your life is in him. Your time is in him. The only thing you should be really concerned about is making sure, Lord, did I pray this morning? Hallelujah, Lord. Am I doing your will, Lord? Hallelujah. Lord, am I walking righteously? Uh, okay. Lord, check me. Check myself. That's what you got to make sure. That's what we got to make sure we doing. We got to make sure we checking ourselves. Hallelujah. Before we go asking God, Lord, where is it? Lord, I've been waiting. Lord, I'm tired. Okay. You said, but ain't nothing happening. God was like, okay, okay, okay. Be patient. God said, it's coming. It is here. That is the word of God. But I want to let you know, hallelujah. God said, it is here. He is vindicating you. See, what you don't know what's been going on behind the scenes, this is what God has been doing for you. Praise the Lord. So before I get into the word, I'm going to pray. Praise the Lord. Father God, we just thank you for your word going forth on today, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that souls will be saved, Lord. Lives will be changed, Lord God. That hearts, Father God, 
will be mended, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. Those who are sick will be healed, Lord God. Those who are in captivity, Father God, will be set free on today, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for your deliverance, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your vindication, Lord, on today. And we thank you, Father God, for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our deliverer, our redeemer, Lord God. And we give you all the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so... I'm going to get right into the word. So like I said, the word from the Lord today is vindication. God said, I am vindicating my people. Hallelujah. So I'm going to give you the definition of the word vindication. Hallelujah. Vindicate. Hallelujah. And it means to free from allegations or blame. Hallelujah. See, God is freeing, freeing, freeing us. Because you know the enemy, the devil, he is the accuser of the brethren. He's always trying to accuse us. Hallelujah. He's always trying to use our past against us. He's always trying to go before the Lord and, and trying to tell the Lord, look at them. Look, they still doing this. They still living like this. They still living like this. They still doing this. They want this from you, but look, they still doing this. They still ain't getting it right. They still doing this. So he continuing, he, the enemy is continually bringing up allegations against us. He keeps bringing up blames against us hallelujah to to um uh tell the lord why we don't deserve these blessings hallelujah but god said he's vindicating us he said i'm freeing you from the allegations and from the blame of the enemy okay and then it says hallelujah vindicate to free from allegations or blame hallelujah to confirm or substantiate hallelujah to provide justification or defense of justification. Hallelujah. This is what God is doing. God is justifying us. Hallelujah. God is defending us right now in this time. This is the things that has been going on behind the scenes that you guys don't know about, that we don't know about, what we can't see. Why are things so hard? It's like, why are things are so hard? Because this is the, what's going on in the spirit realm. This is the enemy in the principalities and high places, hallelujah, and powers in high places that's trying to come against your promise, that's trying to come against your destiny. So in the background, we can't see these things in the spirit happening because you know, we can't, some of us can't see what's going on in the spirit, but thank God that most of us can in the name of Jesus. So we know how to pray in the name of Jesus, but this is what's going on. Hallelujah. God is giving you justification. He's justifying you. Hallelujah. And God is defending you against the enemy. Hallelujah. He says, hallelujah, to protect from attack or in coercement. Hallelujah. See the enemy, he'll try to cut and coerce you into doing something. Hallelujah. Manipulate you, deceive you into doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing. Hallelujah. But because you feel like this thing been taking too long, this thing ain't going to happen. You just feel in some type of way. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Facebook. Sorry about that. Let me, I bind that devil name in the name of Jesus. Sorry about that. And you be feeling some type of way. So that's when the enemy try to bring in all these um, manipulations and all of these incohorsements and make you feel like, oh, it's okay. But no, God said he is defending you from that attack. He's defending you and protecting you, hallelujah, from that. And God also said to avenge, to maintain a right to. So God said that he is avenging. Oh, listen to this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God said he is avenging so that you can maintain your right, your rightful position in the kingdom of heaven. Let me tell you something. God has a purpose and a plan and a place for you in his kingdom. And what God is doing, hallelujah, God said he's avenging so that you can maintain your position in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. See, this is the thing. The enemy want to knock us out of our position. Hallelujah. Because when we get out of alignment with God, we start doing stuff that we ain't supposed to be doing. But God said he's avenging us. He's maintaining us so that we can keep our position. Hallelujah. Even if we did slip slip out, God said, no, they gonna, I'm going to put them right back in position. I'm bringing them right back in position in the name of Jesus. And then it says, hallelujah, to set free deliver. God is delivering you. There's so many circumstances, so many situations, so many, um, 
uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's just so many things that we don't know that the enemy is trying to do to us, against us. Hallelujah. He's trying to use your children. He's trying to use your finances. He's trying to use the people on your job. Hallelujah. He's trying to use your mind. Hallelujah. He's trying to use your spouse. Hallelujah. He's trying to use anyone, anything he can. Hallelujah. To keep you in the place of stagnation, to keep you in the place of confusion, to keep you in the place of just being stuck. Hallelujah. But God said he is setting you free from that. He is delivering you from that. He's delivering you from the confusion. He's delivering you from the frustration. He's delivering you from all the distractions that the enemy is trying to bring into your life. He said he is delivering you. Hallelujah. God said he is vindicating his people. Hallelujah. And so I looked up the word substantiate. Hallelujah. And it means, this is what God is doing right now in your life. This is happening right now for you, for those who have been standing and waiting on the promises of the Lord, those who have endured, who have been pressing in and keep on pressing in, those who have not given up, hallelujah, those who continue to fight the good fight of faith. God said he is confirming your position, hallelujah. He is substantiating your position, and that means to represent in visible form, hallelujah. Catch this revelation. To gain full recognition or acceptance of God said, you are now walking in to your promise and you're going to walk into it and see it now in the natural. Hallelujah. God said, you are about to represent who you are and who he is in visible form. It's not to, your blessing is no longer going to be invisible no more. Hallelujah. Your blessing is no longer going to be, hallelujah, um, in the spirit realm, hallelujah, in heavenly places, God said he's about to pour it out and it's about to be visible for you to see it, for the world to see it, hallelujah, and for all your enemies to see it. God said he's about to make this thing visible, hallelujah. We about to live in it. We about to rejoice in it. We about to dance in it. We about to praise in it, hallelujah. We about to share in it in the mighty name of Jesus. God said in the name of Jesus to represent in visible form to gain full recognition or acceptance. God said he has recognized your tears. He has recognized your faithfulness. He has recognized the work that you have put into the kingdom of heaven. He has recognized and he has accepted it in the name of Jesus. He said it has been accepted. And now, hallelujah, you are about to walk in the blessing. You are about to be the blessing. You are about to be a living, walking testimony, hallelujah, for the world to see, hallelujah, the goodness of God, the blessing of the Lord, the, in, in, the inheritance of God, hallelujah, the purpose of God and your purpose in this earth, hallelujah. You are about to see why and who you were created for. God said he is vindicating his people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God said, just stick out, just stick it out a little longer, hallelujah. He said, let me tell you, from this day forth, hallelujah, everything you do from this day forth is just gonna be you building up, hallelujah, you building up, you increasing, you multiplying, you man you, you um, manifesting, hallelujah, all the promises, all the blessings, hayakata, the inheritance, hallelujah, God said it is yours, hallelujah, and today, hallelujah, you will see the blessing of the Lord in the land of the living. So let me come out of the book of Joel, hallelujah. This is the word that the Lord gave me to confirm this for you. So I'm going to come out the book of Joel, chapter uh, 2, and I'm going to read verse, excuse me. I'm going to read verse 23 to 27, okay? And this is the word that the Lord gave me to confirm this word for you today. And the word of God reads, 
And after I come out the book of Joel, I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah 54, okay? And the word of God reads, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. Praise the Lord. And in verse 24, it says, And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil. This is what's going on, y'all. God is doing it. It is done in the mighty name of Jesus. You have to decree it, declare it, and claim it, and take it by force in the name of Jesus, because it is yours. Hallelujah. And it says in verse 25, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the pommel worm, my great army, which I which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Let me tell you, God said it's done. It is done. Hallelujah. And it says in verse 27, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. God said the people going to recognize who your God is and who you serve. Hallelujah. And that you serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You serve the, you serve the God of heaven and earth, the creator of all things, the creator of all flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Guys, let me read that again. It says, and ye shall know, because God wants you to know. God wants you to know you've been serving the right God. You've been serving the King of Kings. He wants you to know. Hallelujah. Because sometimes you'll be like, I'm praying, I'm praying, but Lord, you know, God letting you know you serving the right God. You serving me. Yes. And he says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. He done said it twice. Hallelujah. That word has been confirmed not only by his prophets, but it's been confirmed by his word in the name of Jesus. So we're going to go to um, Isaiah chapter 54, I believe I said. Yes, Isaiah 54 and verse 17. And the word of God reads, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. God said, he's vindicating you. You have been vindicated by the King of Kings in the Lord of Lords. God said, be blessed because guess what? That's all you, that's all that's going to be coming to you. They are going to call you blessed. Everywhere you go, they're going to say you are blessed. Your name is blessed. Hallelujah. Your children's name is blessed. Hallelujah. Your finances name is blessed. Hallelujah. Your health, everything about you is blessed. Hallelujah. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the field. You are blessed when you come. You are blessed when you go. You are blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much. I pray that you have received the word of God on today. And I pray, hallelujah, that it has been encouraging to your heart, your spirit. And I thank God for your lives have been changed and that you have received our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And from this day forth, hallelujah, you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. 
Old things have passed away and all things have become new. Be blessed. I love you so much and know that God is vindicating you. Know that God has vindicated you. Hallelujah. And you will walk in the blessing. You will now see the manifestation of God. Hallelujah. In your life. Be blessed, everyone. I love you so much. To all my YouTubers, remember to like, share, subscribe to the page. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Leave a comment. Hallelujah. And any prayer inquiries, leave it in the email for me. Hallelujah. And to all my Facebook family, thank you for joining me and supporting me and just showing me love. I love you so much. I love each and every last one of you. And God willing, I will see you sooner than later. Be blessed. Mwah.